Hello, this is Will Robinson again. Uh, thank you for your continued interest in uh, Workshop College extra and co-curricular activities, or should I say St Cuthbert's College extra and co-curricular activities. Workshop College used to be called St Cuthbert College uh, many years ago. This is our flagship event, uh, so I thought it deserved a, a little clip of its own. Each year we run St Cuthbert's Way. St Cuthbert's Way starts at Melrose and ends at Holy Island. It's quite a well-known uh, long distance walking route. We run it over two days uh, and we, stay, we drive up to uh, Kirk Yetham actually, it's somewhere in the middle near town Yetham here. Uh, we stay in a hostel there and we start at Melrose uh, usually on a Saturday morning, uh, and then we'll run back to Kirk Yetham and stay there overnight in a hostel, and then we'll run from uh, Kirk Yetham or a little bit the other side actually, uh, over the Scottish border and along the route, uh, sorry, yeah, over the Scottish border into England uh, and along the route to Holy Island. I'll talk you through it a little bit on the way. So it starts at Melrose Abbey. Here's a group of keen runners who don't know what's before them. It's a big hill just outside Melrose, so that's our first job is to climb up the hill. We've learned over the years not to run up the hills, but to walk up them quickly. Running up hills is very hard. This is a group of uh, runners who made it to the top of that first hill. And after that, on that first day, we just run and walk and run as far as we can for as long as we can. I don't know if you can see this little hill over here, but I think that's where we're headed to. So you just run and run and run into the distance. Usually we'll meet a, uh, we'll meet a minibus, which is looping around to meet us at several places. So this is the first time, the first place we meet. Uh, these people look quite pleased with themselves. They've just done the first 10 kilometres of what would probably be about 40 kilometres on the first day. So we're at a, that's a bridge over the River Tweed. We run along the River Tweed. You'll see if you look at the route, you'll see go back to the first or second slide. You'll see the route runs along the Tweed for quite a way. So this is the River Tweed and that's us. And so we'll meet the minibus every 10 kilometres or so and take on lots of uh, any water uh, and try and eat as much as we can and still feel comfortable with running. So that's our first break, is that, is that, is that um, bridge over the Tweed. Uh, another eight or 10 kilometers on, we'll come to this little church, which is called St Cuthbert's Chapel, appropriately enough. Uh, and we'll usually meet the minibus in a car park just a few hundred meters uh, beyond there. So we've run about 18 kilometers, I think, by this time, uh, and we're feeling quite tired. Um, and I just want to emphasize that this is so and then we'll have lunch somewhere at a place called Hair Stains and then we just carry on running along the Cuthbert's Way. Taking a break when we need to, when we've been up a hill, we'll have a rest at the top. And then it's on and on and on. Uh, the St Cuthbert's Way I just want to mention to you uh, is uh, uh, a route that the monks from Holy Island, uh, which is Lindisfarne, uh, took when they carried the relics of St Cuthbert uh, west away from the invading Vikings uh, many centuries ago as the Vikings were so uh, quite prone to upsetting holy people so or at least Christian holy people anyway so uh, they took the relics away from Lindisfarne and what took them to Melrose there is a big shrine in uh, Durham Cathedral to St Cuthbert and he is about the biggest uh, one, of the, one of the biggest and most important saints around these parts um, and has been for many centuries. So here you can see uh, this runner has come up ahead of the others, but there's a cuff, she's leaning on a Cuthbert's Way uh, signpost and as uh, the rest of us are pushing our way up the hill behind her. We're on our way to the top, uh, to the highest point of the of St Cuthbert's Way. It's here, it's Wynn Hill, um, 
and it's towards the end of our first day. It's beautiful countryside. It's the end of our first day. You run down the hill and meet the minibus at the road, and it'll take you to Kirkgetham to our hostel where we'll get cleaned up, have a lot to eat, and go to bed early. On this event, on this trip, the here this year, uh, the run was quite uh, it's the same year as the same as people were looking for. This is uh, this was quite a a grim start to the uh, to the second day. If you look at that, it's low cloud over those hills. We're going over those hills. This is one of the most beautiful parts of the run, though, and one of the most remote. So lots of everybody wants to do this stretch. Uh, so we've just run through that low cloud. Can you see behind? Uh, we met some cows, and I think this is the Scottish border, which we're just crossing now. Uh, a few more miles, and we come to uh, this special sandstone cave. It's St Cuthbert's Cave, uh, and it's a well-known waypoint on the route. Here's some uh, humorous runners. Attempt, uh, pretending they're holding up the cave, and that's the route. Uh, that's the that's the view you would have uh, seen if you were a monk carrying Cuthbert's relics to safety. When you're at Cuthbert's cave, you're not too far from the end. Uh, a few more miles, and a little hop on a minibus, and a few more miles, and then you can see the sea. Over the sea is Lindisfarne. Here's a little clip taken by a, a, a helpful parent um, of us coming over the last few metres, the last few hundred metres of the run. Um, there's some supporting brothers there uh, who are clapping us all home. So some weary runners at the end there, um, but there's a lot of adrenaline going to uh, the last uh, last few kilometres to keep you going. Uh, if you time it right, uh, you can get there and arrive uh, when the causeway is covered in seawater, which means you don't have to run the last five or six kilometres over to Holy Island, which is over here, uh, and uh, to the uh, monastery there. So we couldn't do this bit here. So we got to say, uh, congratulate ourselves uh, having got here to the causeway as the tide is coming up over the road. Um, a fantastic achievement by, by all these people. Uh, I hope you can see by just looking at them and the smiles on their faces, they've achieved a great thing and, and anybody can do this if you're prepared to train for a bit. It's not, uh, you, um, it's not beyond anybody. Thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed that uh, and I hope you're prepared to consider giving it again.